Hey friends around the globe, it's Friday, September 6th, marking another hectic week on planet Earth. I've been residing in this off-grid cabin for nearly four months now, and although it being a bit of an adjustment from the city life, which I had grown accustomed to for so long, it isn't insurmountable. It is rewarding in its own way, and I'm beyond grateful to still be here. So for those of you who kept track and been watching as I document the data and evidence as it continues to release regarding our natural world, that's Una behind me chasing something, always, uh, thank you. Thank you. You know, Paul Harrell's death video just reminded me of why we do this for a community, for just the sake of being human and watching it all unfold. This isn't a religion, I'm not a cult leader, but maybe you can sign up. And we're merely processing the data as humans. Um, this isn't a man-made social construct designed to give you purpose or meaning in life, though it could be inferred as that to live with agency and figure out what's important in your life. That's not my true intention. Goal is to just be here to report the data because God damn it, no one else is. You know how many of you I wish would just turn the camera, your advanced space age smartphone at you, just hit record and talk about all your thoughts on the latest peer reviewed findings, the data, how you're processing collapse, I had a Zoom call with one of my best friends last night who lives in Pittsburgh or near, and he's just doing the whole thing of working the nine to five, paying rent, building his own mental space to handle what's coming and, and deal with what's now. It's challenging enough being human. And as far as socializing goes, most of us are our coworkers' friends whom I'm going over tonight to have a little bonfire, which is kind of early because it's nearly 78 degrees here in early September. It's going to be up to 80 next week. Noah predicted a warm fall for much of the eastern U.S. and in fact the west coast is having record-breaking heat waves right now from Seattle to southern California. Over 100 degrees at night is horrid. So we're all feeling it. Hottest record summer ever you know we're, we're passing 1.5 already these are earlier ahead of time predictions if we're at 1.5 now like we have to go into warp speed it's to reverse and suck all the carbon out and we won't do that obviously um, but the techno fantasy continues just to conclude the climate is long-term trends and it's obviously warmer here now on the other side of the ocean china is building 12 hydroelectric dams to apparently funnel in enough hydroelectric energy to provide something like 16,000 gigawatts. Correct me on that. You can. I just watched a Wall Street Journal video briefly. In this fantasy that they can achieve net zero, that they'll generate enough carbon-free energy. Okay, I'm watching my words here, not trying to mince them. Meanwhile, there's no adequate technology to vacuum all of the greenhouse gases out of the sky. I was going to say nitrous, sulfur, hexafluoride, methane, etc. You know, we have no, we're just waiting for some magical alien technology, Prometheus, to come along and fairy tale, lunatic, lunacy, um, that humans are no stopping it. We were functionally wired to attempt progress at all costs, even if it meant our own destruction. And so what I'm saying is I'm reminded as I watch these videos of walking tours in Bronx, Manhattan, Lower East Side, just copious amounts of people. It's like a, um, a theme park ride, you know, just people partying, eating, you know, not a care in the world, the psychosis, just tuned out, having a good time. You could say, you know, you don't give them crap because they're just having a good time, but they're completely out of tune with reality, obviously, that none of that is sustainable, and we're all signing, we've all signed our death sentence. And I'm not trying to cause anyone to worry, or this isn't a cult or religion, but you can sign up if you want. Uh, I am the Wizard of Doom. Uh, just kidding. Okay, so the reason why all of this is, is the way it is, is because... We discovered a cheap, abundant energy source called fossil fuels. It's all about energy, dispersal of energy. How can we 
extract it, and then manipulate it and diffuse it all over the planet to build all these wondrous multi-level shopping centers and subways, freight barges, supersonic jets, uh, stealth bombers, um, you name it. Okay, any kind of crazy far out thing humans have thought of, we've built it and, and we've engineered an energy source. We found an extracted energy source in addition to mass production agriculture. We were able to fertilize and harvest large sums of land to generate all this energy to feed calories in our brains and grow them and further disperse all over the planet to deserts and mountain caves. So it's an energy equation. And it's all out of whack, clearly. My two or 300 subs viewers don't need that explained to them for the umpteenth time, the hundredth and fifty thousandth time. It's just a helpful reminder that when I have this feeling, when I see videos of populated places where I used to inhabit and for how I felt for very long is FOMO, that I'm not having the, you know, this let's all say privileged lifestyle of living the, the high life in a city, sex in the city or whatever. But then I remember, oh, it's all just there because we just discovered fossil fuels in a hundred years, over a hundred years ago, and just exploded. We just, boom, it's all because it traces back. We just discovered an energy source and then boom, all that's possible. So you're not really missing out on anything. Like I said, I socialize, I get enough fill of people. My coworkers give me more than enough attention than I even would like at times, and I'm in anticipation of this stupid debate coming up uh, that historian predicted that Trump would lose. There's still people wearing Trump hats around here. There's gonna be a period of time, I just say this again, that we're not gonna certify the results. There's gonna be supply chain disruptions. It's gonna be like COVID all over again. My conversation with my friend concluded last night that we have just a few more years of relative stability before China makes a move, Ukraine, I mean, Russia decides to use a nuclear weapon, uh, to just stop playing this end game of just continually sending out bodies to die and ammunition. You know, they have this long game in mind, and, and they have the resources to do that. Um, Middle East isn't much better. You can hear an owl there. They make all, you know, kind of owly fun noises. Is that the word? Yeah, I'm out here. Like the wolverine living it in the wild. It's not all that bad. With modern conveniences, you guys see I'm taken care of. I'm really about to cut this short. Um, I have bug spray at home, okay? Just mind you, I know I've been eating up the past two videos. Um, I have an electronic pump, electric pump shower that gives like, I don't know, 30 PSI. It's enough to wash off with. I fill up a bucket, take the warm water from work, which I'm gonna go do now. And uh, I have these little rechargeable lights inside, a power bank that, that the co that the owner left for me in addition to very nice purchases for me. I cannot be more grateful. Uh, propane fridge, you know, it's like living in an RV. It's, all, it's out here, but, but again, I watch these cities, these walking city tours, and I'm reminded, ugh, you don't wanna, you're, you don't wanna be there. You, you're, you're depressed because you're worthless. There's no need for you in these cities. Like you could just fabricate a meeting in your head. Oh, I'm important at work because I sell X and Y, but no one really gives a damn about you. You could be homeless the next day and end up on the street and no one really, they'll just walk over your body. Men are just worthless. I don't miss it at all. I know it's early, four months into living off grid, but I'll still feel that way for a long while. Like I said, it's pretty, I've been pretty run over and abused in city scenarios in suburbia so okay warmest summer ever warmest year on record we're already at 1.5 which means we'll be at two degrees by 2030 let's just be honest and then we'll be at 2.5 and then we get to three and it's game over okay three degrees by 2040 okay hell world what's it going to be like a, a nightmare hellscape you don't you don't want to live it's gonna be it's gonna be so not unlivable very uncomfortable. Excuse me flubbing my words. This is catching up with reality. Day by day, two months until the election, just so ready for it to be over with. And these wars all happening all over the world. It just sickens me. I read these comments of people publishing videos about something pertaining to documenting something happening now, like 
fashion trends, it could be anything, cell phones, and in the comments you just have clueless fucking morons. It is a spectacular over the top day, by the way. I mean, and I do mean over the top. It's gonna be rainy and cloudy the next few days. In the comments, people post, oh, imagine if humans see this in 25, 30, 50, 100 years. It's just like, the stupidity is so fucking jarring. Like, do you not see that we're ahead of our projections? Pr predictions, they're all happening sooner. We're at 1.5, the Paris Agreement. Of course, they don't admit that. It's all about the 30-year averages, which is fucking bonkers. Because we're feeling it and affected by it now. How many tens of millions of people without food and fresh water supply already? Coral reefs dying? Hello, all the predictions happening now. Going to get worse. Okay, maybe there's some dirt bikes running through. <sighs> like hanging out with you folks, and I'm glad you enjoy this content. All two or three hundred viewers, and have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next week, maybe. I'm gonna publish some music. New War on the Drugs album. Should I drive to New York City to see them? Or Tiesto in Boston, Massachusetts? Okay, here we go. See you later.